Hi everyone, it's Janice Sullivan from Sullivan J Photography and this is actually my first quick dive. It's going to be a series of really fast videos getting right to the point. Today we're going to talk about the Canon MR14 II Macro Ring Light Pack. So the red light saying that it's on, I have it on on. You can lock whatever you do in here, you can lock your exposure by pushing the lock button right there. So whatever you get, you don't want to mess anything up, make sure you use the lock. ETTL, exposure through the lens, you've probably heard it before. Here is where you change your modes. Here's manual, that's my favorite. That's where you're gonna learn really how to use your light. There is also a lamp, you can see it right here. The lamp turns on so you can help make exposures correctly. Turn off the lamp. Up here is custom functions. You can have a variety of custom functions in this macro ring. It says a plus and a minus on there. And basically that will, if you click on that, you can either decrease by going to the left your exposure to the light or increase the exposure through the light. And it gives you the stops and all the information up here of where you're at. FEB is when you're going to use exposure bracketing and when you click on that, you'll get these little goodies right in here. Then you can set, just like if you're gonna do an HDR in your camera, you can set your light bracket as far as you'd like to go. That will change the lighting through FEB. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is look at sync when you photograph using one of these babies, you can only go to 2 50th of a second in your shutter speed. When you push on the high sync area right here, you could see it, push it here. That means you could take your shutter speed and let it go faster than 250 of a second. If you want to hit it again, this is rear shutter curtain. What that does is basically lets the camera take the picture with your f-stop and shutter speed and ISO and then the flash will go off at the end of the exposure. Go to your ratio button right here, click on that and now you see your A and B. So on these goodies it tells you which one is A and B in here and you can change your ratios of each of the lights. So if I go to A and then click over, whoops, go to A and then click again and then I can change my A light and then say if I want to go to B, I can change the amount of light coming out to say very soft on the B side so it pops as not as hard as the A so it can give it a nice dimension. And then there you have it set to A and B. You can also click it again and add i click several times here we go a a b c and you will be able to see that you can add other flashes that will sync up with this so you can have a variety of lights going on which is really nice a quick little tip for you i have it on ettl i have the camera on full automatic it turned green as you can see, that means that the camera says that that's a great exposure. That's just for beginning. There's a lot of variables on this, but let me just show you. We go to manual. I've messed with the, with the modes. And according to this, we will click it. See how it didn't light up? It's saying that it was not a good exposure. If this guy moves so you can really play. Voila! And if you'd like to get deeper into your macro and landscape education, go to SullivanJPhotography.com and sign up for our emails. I'm Jana Sullivan from Sullivan J Photography, helping you get up close and personal with your camera. Have a great day. Cheers.